So over the past few weeks, we've been speaking with people who are vying for the top job in the Conservative Party. And this morning's candidate is Pierre Lemieux. He has served as an Ontario MP for nearly a decade. He lost his seat to the Liberal candidate in the last election. Prior to becoming a politician, Lemieux had a 20-year career in the Canadian Armed Forces. Pierre Lemieux is joining us from Ottawa this morning. Good morning to you. Good morning, Anne-Marie, and to your viewers. Well, there is a large pool of candidates at this point, 14 to date. It is expensive to run, $100,000. Why did you decide to join now, and what do you offer that's not available to in the other candidates? Right, so, so I joined because I am convinced that under my leadership, we can defeat the Liberals in 2019. And what I bring to the race is a unique blend of experience, of ideas, of language ability, and of service. And I think Conservatives want a leader. Canadians want a Prime Minister who understands service, service to Canadians, service to our country. And for my part, I joined the Canadian Armed Forces at the age of 17. As you mentioned, I served for 20 years. And then I continued to serve our country as a Member of Parliament for 10 years. I'm also uh, the father of five children, and I've been married for 30 years, and the grandfather of two. So I have good, solid uh, life experience to offer as well. Well, the anti-abortion group Campaign uh, Life Coalition, pardon me, supports your campaign. You say on your website that you believe in the sanctity of life from conception through to natural death. If you become leader of the Conservative Party, is abortion an issue you plan to revisit? So I, I am pro-life. I do believe in the value and dignity of human life from the moment of conception through to natural death. We're very fortunate here in Canada. We have a strong and healthy democracy. And within that democracy, Canadians should be able to discuss within society and have debated within Parliament any subject that is of interest to them. And I would see life issues being one of those subjects. So I could see bringing forward uh, a debate or a discussion within society that touches on life issues. Well, some could argue that that has been debated, discussed, and decided. Is it not time to move on past that issue? There are so many aspects of uh, life issues. I mean, life issues really touch all Canadians, and they, they touch all Canadians from the beginning of life right through to the natural end of life and everywhere in between. I, I think those uh, proponents would have a hard time making the case that all of those subjects touching life have been debated already and simply cannot be reopened. I, I feel that uh, it's undemocratic to say that a debate is over, it's shut down, it will not be reopened. Instead, we, we should be celebrating our democracy. We should be living freely within our democracy. And we should be telling Canadians, you can have that discussion, you can have that debate in an open and respectful manner. And when you look at our institution of parliament, it has been established for open and respectful debate. I mean, if you can't have that debate in parliament, mm -hmm. just where can you have it? When interim leader Rana Ambrose was on your morning uh, a couple of months ago, she said that the party is moving in a more progressive direction. If you become leader, uh, where will you take the party on social issues? Well, I welcome all people into the party, and I think a wide variety of views is healthy for the party. That's how you have well-rounded debate. And again, this fits into my, my theme and my pillar. One of the pillars of my campaign is democracy. So I think we want all people of all different ideas and values to come into the party and to have that debate. And then after the discussion of the debate, it is possible to set policy moving forward. So I see this as very unitive. And I think that even on life issues, not even, even on life issues, but with respect to life issues, uh, there are many, many unitive type initiatives that can be discussed, debated, and undertaken within Canada. Uh, finally, just in our last few seconds, uh, Mr. Lemieux, what policies are you planning to campaign on? My campaign is built upon democracy, which we've had the opportunity to discuss a little this morning on families and on security. And another major concern with Canadians is security. I will be bring, bringing forward uh, measures regarding security. And having served our country for 20 years, I would say I, I have a good understanding of what the concerns are and what uh, solutions should be proposed. Thanks for joining us today.